Good morning, chicks and chickens. Welcome back to Old Man Farm. My name is Sid as always. Looks like it's Willie's birthday, so we, we have to get we have to go through with that. I have to find Willie. Luckily he's a pretty easy guy to track down, but we love Willie, so. Excuse me, Oliver. Uh, also, on the docket, apparently we had a, an alien incursion last night. I don't know, so we're going to go check that out. I've never seen this uh, in all of my time playing Stardew. I, yeah, caught me completely off guard. Spirits are quite happy. Um, I'd like to take the mutant carp to the... Whoa, there's our battery. I'd like to take our mutant carp to the aquarium. That's also... Uh, not pressing, but something I'd like to do. Uh, and then, yeah, I've got a few other things to talk about. I'm going to a Cleveland Guardians baseball game today. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. And we had a stream last night that was uh, just so much fun. Oh, and our horses, our, our stables finished. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll just get the stream out of the way since that's the one that feels most like an ad, <laughs> right? Here's an ad for myself. Go over and check out the stream, blah, blah, blah. But no, but seriously, playing uh, Moonstone Island uh, yesterday. I'll be streaming it again tomorrow, 4 to 7. Definitely come check it out. And it is, I believe I said yesterday, it's sort of Stardew meets Pokemon. And that's, uh, yeah, that's about as... That's, that's about the best description I can give. It's got a little bit of a, a like, Studio Ghibli, um, you know, uh, like, Kiki's Delivery Service kind of look to it. A little bit of, like, Nausicaa. Um, but, yeah, it was super fun. I really, really enjoyed it. So much so that I'm kind of upset because I just want to keep playing it. But I have, um, I have vowed to only play it on stream. So, uh, that means I'm probably going to be streaming a little more often. Which, um, that's, uh... I am also going to be putting out a proper stream schedule tomorrow, so that way uh, it won't just be a spur of the moment, uh, hey, I'm going to be streaming in an hour kind of thing, so hopefully that will um, allow anyone who wants to pop over to do so. Uh, speaking of, links in the description, check it out. Okay, I'm done talking about streaming. Um, what are you? I think this is our alien pod. What the hell do I do with it? I'm afraid... Ooh, what do I do with it? I don't know. I've never... Um... Do we... Can we pick it up? Oh. Oh no, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> um... I guess we'll take it inside? Maybe it needs... I have no idea what this does. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna take that inside, I guess. Do we get... This isn't like... Do we get an alien friend? I... I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, that's new. That's interesting. Um, I assume this is normal Stardew content. Whoa. I only assume that because in the uh, like loading screen, you can see the alien in the... Um, whoops. Did I just... How did I manage that? You can see the, the alien in the loading screen. So, uh, I don't know though. Oh boy, we have, uh, we'll be back, we'll be back. We're gonna drop all this stuff off first. I didn't expect us to have quite that much milk. Uh, but yeah, so I'm also, like I said, I'm going to a, a baseball game today. I'm very excited for that. I haven't been in a very long time, but I, um, put them, like, right dead center on the floor. Oh, there's, like, a little alien fetus thing in there. Alright, this is all kinds of crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know what that's all about, but I'm excited to find out. Um, I guess uh, if there's something I need to know to do with that, let me know in the comments. If not... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I had a coughing fit. Uh, if not, I guess just let me be surprised. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious what this is all about. Oh, I guess we should hop on our horse. Can we, can we name him or is he just... We do. Grover. You know what? I'm not even mad. It's Grover it is. Uh, he's got very short legs for a horse. <laughs> but this should uh, sort of... I don't know. This should be pretty helpful. I, I, I'm not a terribly efficient person in general, but maybe that'll help us. I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, oh, so the, the, the baseball game. My mom's been wanting to go to a... My mom's a really big baseball fan, which is like a later in life thing. She never cared about sports when I was growing up, and now she's all... All about, you know, um, it's all about her various Cleveland sports. It's just, just I don't know, funny to me. But, uh, yeah, she wanted to go to a game, and I said, yeah, sure, let's go. I, I love to go to live sporting events. I don't, uh, I don't really watch sports. Um, I enjoy sports. I played them as a kid, mostly because I was kind of, I won't say forced, but I was, uh, I was, um, I was gently, uh, I was forced. I, I had to play sports. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I, I, I was told I had to play one sport uh, in the, the spring and fall. Uh, and I chose soccer and hockey. So um, neither of which were actually team sports in uh, at my school. So I had to play like a club soccer team. I mean, we, we traveled. We played other schools and stuff. But it was a club team. And then I also played... Um, hockey but again we had to go elsewhere to find a league but uh hey my, my parents were you know good enough about it they said fine you want to play hockey we'll go so worked out but anyway point being is i i enjoy sports but i um i'm one of those people that i i have so many interests uh obviously i don't think that's a surprising thing to say to any of you watching this i have so many interests that i i really just don't have time it feels like to sit down and watch like hours of TV as one of my interests, you know, if that makes sense. Um, I, I honestly, I wish I could, I wish I like had the mentality to be able to do that. Um, honestly, I, I, I used to watch hockey games with uh, one of my friends and that was super fun. I, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't have it in me really. Uh, I remember for a hot minute there, I was, um, when I was playing a lot of League of Legends, uh, my friends and I would all get together and have, uh, like, World's Watch parties, and that was super fun. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, back to the Cleveland game. Uh, I told her that the one stipulation, not stipulation, but the thing I really wanted if we were going to do a baseball game is I really wanted to go on a dollar dog night, because, um, if... <laughs> If you're a longtime viewer of this, you know, you probably know, I've mentioned before, I eat, I eat relatively healthy. Um, uh, and I do that, A, because when I was younger, I had health problems that um, definitely led me to want to eat healthier. Um, but, here you go, Willie, a birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. Well, you're welcome, my man. Glad you enjoy it. Um... But I, uh, I, this is probably not medically accurate, I don't know, but I, uh, I, I tend to sort of, I guess a way you could phrase it would be, uh, I, I, I like deficit eat, where, um, I, 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 I figure that if I eat relatively healthy most of the time, that when I want to eat, like, just a complete moron I can you know what I mean so uh that is to say that I don't feel bad about going to this baseball game and eating as many hot dogs as I can until I puke uh hopefully not literally but I uh because again I I eat well enough that I don't you know um uh, the world okay thank you Linus um but yes I uh Oh, we got a cutscene. Point being is, I'm gonna eat a lot of hot dogs and not feel bad about it. <laughs> Greetings, Sid. I don't believe I've seen you up here before. Well, then you've not been paying attention. I visit this graveyard to pay my respects to those who sacrificed their lives to keep the valley safe. Many of these adventurers were my friends. went on an expedition in the mines with a couple first slash adventurers who were eager to test their mettle. Imagine their, their disappointment when we found that the monsters had been thinned out. The progress you've made single-handedly is impressive. Your assistance in keeping the valley safe is a debt I don't think I'll ever be able to repay. To tell you the truth, you remind me of myself when I was your age. Dude, I wish 
I hope I grow up to be half as cool as Marlin. <laughs> Magnus, Rasmodius, and I privately meet regarding new monster hunters, wizards, witches, and adventurers who join our order. I want you to join our meeting, Sid. Your insight would prove most helpful. What do you say? Oh my god. Uh, I would be honored to join your meetings, or I'm humbled, but I leave that to you too. I would be honored. Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. I'll let you know when we have our next meeting. We usually meet at the guild building or at Magnus's tower. Sometimes we run a room at the Star Drop Saloon so we can enjoy good food and drink, too. Call me in on that one. I, I'm, I'm in for that. I must be on my way, Sid. Well, that was highly unexpected, but uh, I'm. that's awesome. I'm very excited to see what uh, what those meetings actually entail. That'll be that'll be quite cool. Stardew Aquarium. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, gonna go to that baseball game. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I believe they're playing the Orioles, and again, I don't follow. Whoops, I don't follow baseball, so I don't know. But I was told, given the fact that they're playing the Orioles, that um, Cleveland's probably gonna lose. So, <laughs> but again, I I don't really care. I don't have like a home team. Whoa, he looks he looks crazy in there. The legendary mutant carp is found in the sewers of Pelican Town. Now the monster came to be his... Wait, how this monster came to be is still a mystery. I, I imagine it's like Blinky from The Simpsons. That's probably a similar way he was created. Um, speaking of, though, not really speaking of, but while we're here, I want to go check out this ridgeside area. We were, uh, we were on old heavy topic mode last time, so I didn't really get a chance to peep around this area. an empty tank. Let's see. So we have... Do these cola machines work? They do. Jojo will not be getting my money. But, uh, yeah, let's see. What have we here? The mountain uh, red-bellied dace and the ridgeside bass. I want to know more about this guy. This crazy eel. The fixer eel is a rare species of eel. They have almost been hunted to extinction due to local superstition claiming they can fix anything. Hence its name, fixer eel. That's interesting. It's a very cool looking uh, sprite for for a fish, though. God, I love this place. <laughs> Honestly, we don't come here enough. I need to start making this thing. Uh, maybe like a weekend. I, I said this last time and we just, it fell to the wayside. I, you know, I love the amount of mods we've put in, but the base Stardew game has so much going on. Honestly, that like, couple that plus what we've added, and it is, there's just so much. It, it I mean, honestly, it, it boggles the mind how much content uh, we've put in this game. But, okay, so I want to go back and make some warp totems, because uh, every time we go off to do something, I realized I have forgotten to bring any warp totems. So, I want to go make sure we have a few on hand. Oops, let's, uh go ahead and grab these few things. See if our mayonnaise is done as well. I want to hang on to avoid mayonnaise. I forgot I wanted to take that to Krobus. Yep. Whoops. Hi, little peep. Hi, barbecue. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I, I also, I, I posted this in my, in my Discord. Uh, again, shameless plug. Discord link is in the description. Um, but I went and got sushi slash hibachi. Well, we went to a hibachi place. No one ended up getting hibachi. We just ate sushi. But um, with a friend who uh, was relatively new, I, I don't know that he's had any sushi before, honestly. Um, and he was just interested. He'd never been to this restaurant at all. So uh, we ended up eating almost exclusively sushi and some like, you know, like, you know, gyoza and like things like that. But um, as far as, you know, Yes, I'm going to sit there and walk through the horse rather than uh, go around him. Um, oh, I didn't put the rest of those milks in. But I, we had some, I had this new roll that I had never had. I cannot remember the name of it, but it was so good. Uh, I, I love tuna and I know I'm not supposed to eat much tuna because of the mercury, blah, blah, blah. But I, I pretty much max out that limit of the tuna you are quote unquote allowed to eat. I, I push that to the maximum because I, I just, I love it uh, in, in all forms. Um, yeah. But I, uh, 
uh, the one I got had spicy tuna on the inside, but it also had, um, it also had a, like, they called it pepper seared tuna on top. Now, I, I enjoy, um, raw fish just in general, but, um, this one, it was, it was so quickly and lightly seared that it did not, um, I wouldn't even have qualified it as cooked. You know, it was truly just, uh, probably sat down on a ripping hot surface for a few seconds, enough to get just a light bit of a white sear and sort of, um, encrust the, the, the black pepper, uh, into it. And it was, into the flesh, and it was, oh my god, it was delicious. Said it had wasabi, um... Uh, what was it? Wasabi tubico on top, and I don't. It was. It was. It was so good. I had. I don't normally go in for the fancier sushi rolls, the named ones. No, everything I eat, it tends to be just fish and the rice. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, and the seaweed. But uh, I went out on a limb and had something a little more fancy schmancy, and it was. It was legitimately delicious. So I'm excited we got that. Uh, my kid is on. The, oh no. A shadow person above ground? This is outrageous. I mean, technically he is below ground. Your people were responsible for the death of my entire family. Well, if dwarves hadn't driven us out from our ancestral home, we'd never had had to resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry isn't gonna cut it, so I'm gonna cut you. Oh no, calm down, y'all. How does one punch a shadow person? Well, I guess... We hit him with swords, so. Break it up. Break it up. Let me at him. Let me at him. He's despicable. Come and get it, shrimpy. I know. Whoa. Hey, Rasmo. Oh. Silence, both of you. The elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. The two of you must make peace for the sake of the humans that live around you. Surely you can see that? Yes, everything is about humans. How dare you! Very well. I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. And I, I'm truly sorry about the past, Dwarf. I have no personal gripe with you. Very good. I shall cast a seal of promise to finalize this agreement. Like a zone of truth. I gotta get a drink. And we're just like, okay, I don't know what I walked into. Uh, I think that's, I don't, um, oh, uh, let me finish what I was saying about the, yeah, uh, my kid is getting, uh, he gets octopus sushi all the time, which obviously the octopus is not raw, uh, raw, but, um, you know, it's just a, it's a slab of tentacle, and he just loves it. Um, and he tried a few other things. He he has legitimately um, one of the least picky children, as far as eating goes, that I have ever seen. Um, I mean, he'll tell you he doesn't like something, but he will try everything. <laughs> and he was, uh, I told him before we left, before I started streaming, I was like, listen, you just had your snack, no more snacks before dinner. I want to make sure that you're, um, I want to make sure that you're hungry when we, uh, when we leave, right? Because he fairly often will, uh, um, order more than, you know, his eyes will be bigger than his stomach. So, uh, you know, and I, you know, I don't want to, uh, excuse me. I don't want to, um, not give him food if he's going to eat it. You know, I also, um, don't want to just spend a bunch of money on food if, uh, he's not going to eat it. So, um, I always tell him, you know, hey, make sure you're hungry and then you can order whatever you want. Just don't waste. And, uh, he, <laughs> he, um, oh boy, how do we get in here? Sorry. Wait. Come on now. Oh man, you know what? Oh, he found it, but this is gonna put us right at the edge of. Oh man. 
Okay, uh, it's 11 o'clock. We'll just have to try again tomorrow. Maybe I shouldn't do this with the horse. Um, but anyway, yeah, he, uh, he loves dumplings in all forms. Um, but we ordered gyoza, just a side order for him, just as part of his dinner. Uh, because that's what he wanted, that and some octopus. And he ate them. <laughs> and they came served on, like, a, you know, on a plate. But on the plate was, like, a... Like a big, um, you know, really fibrous leaf, like a banana leaf. I don't think it was a banana leaf, but very similar. And uh, after he's done with his gyoza, he looks at it and he goes, "Can, can I eat that leaf?" And I'm like, "Dude, really? Calm down. You can have some of my sushi. You don't need to be eating the the leaf that the that your food was served on." It was very funny to me. Uh, but he did. He tried. He tried uh, most of the pieces of sushi that um the, you know the people at the table ordered so it was it was nice it was it was a good time i definitely enjoyed it and it was nice to get to go out with a friend uh this friend has recently um at just last week ha was in a car accident uh with a with a cow <laughs> of all things and uh you know obviously that doesn't go well um his car was completely annihilated uh, he's fine. He's totally fine. Um, at least physically. Obviously, it shook him up a little bit, uh, as as it would. But yeah, so we took him out. It was it was fun. Definitely uh, an enjoyable afternoon. But enough about that. It's time to wrap up here. Whoops! I don't want to eat that. Ooh! Could you imagine just eating a truffle? <laughs> anyway, let's check our. Whoops! Not fortune. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Just out of habit. Check our weather report. Clear and sunny. Okie dokie. Well, anyway, that was a lot, I know. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I have to go get ready and get on my way to Cleveland. So I will let you guys know how that goes tomorrow. But in the meantime, yeah, definitely check, come over and check out the stream tomorrow if uh, that interests you. It's been quite a bit of fun, and I have to say this game is... Excellent. I really, really think that uh, if you like Stardew, you'll enjoy it. But anyway, I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. That's not the right order. I appreciate you hanging out. Be good to each other. I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night.